Good morning. I'd like to welcome you to the Archdale Church of Christ in Charlotte, North Carolina, to our 9 a.m. Bible study hour for today, the 31st day of January in the year of our Lord, 2021. Welcome. We are currently studying Brother Frank Chester's fine book, Portrait of God, which is a history of God's redemptive work from Genesis to Revelation. And last time we came to you at this hour on last Lord's Day, we came to you with a message about obedience, obedience to the gospel. The gospel is something that must be obeyed. It is not something that people acquiesce to mentally and then move on and change nothing. Repentance is a radical change. In order to obey the gospel, we must repent. And so today we want to focus on this concept of repentance because repentance and obedience are intertwined to the point where they cannot be separated. One cannot obey the gospel without repenting. And so we want to examine this concept of repentance and its ramifications for us. Repentance is, of course, part and parcel of obeying the gospel. And it is also a lifestyle that will continue for the rest of our lives once we have become Christians in the New Testament sense of the word. And of course, a Christian in the New Testament sense of the word is one who has repented and has been baptized immersed in water in the name or under the authority of Jesus Christ for specifically the remission or the forgiveness of sins. And such persons will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and, according to Acts chapter 2 and verse 47, be added to the church by the Lord himself. And so these things are all intertwined and cannot be separated out. We must repent in order to obey the gospel. And if we obey the gospel, we will be repentant persons. And so we want to look at this uh, concept today of repentance. Uh, before we do, let's go to God in prayer this morning. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, we are indeed thankful, Lord, for this beautiful, wonderful Lord's Day. We are graciously happy to receive, Lord, your gift of the rains that have graced our area overnight. And we thank you, Lord, for their effect uh, in due season as spring is coming, should time continue. And we thank you, Lord, for the seasons and the rains that are brought by them. And we ask, Lord, today that you would kindly look down upon us. Help us, Lord, to be repentant people. Help us to be, Lord, a people who have a changed mind. Help us to be a people who have a spiritual mindset. May we change our minds in repentance every day to turn away from sin and to turn to you. May we keep turning around from our sinful impulses and turning around and looking squarely upon your face, Lord. May we walk ever closer to thee. Father, we're so mindful of those who are in need of your care this day. Lord, there are so many who are sick and dispossessed and confused spiritually today. We pray, Lord, that you would bless those who are sick, especially those who have the virus. Bless those who are elderly and sickly 
and don't know what to do. We pray, Lord, that you would bless all those that we know and love and care about and all others, Lord, in this perilous time. And we pray, Lord, that because of these circumstances, the gospel will be advanced. Many will turn to you in obedience to the gospel. Lord, we ask now that you would guide us, direct us, bless our leaders to do what is right and biblical. And we pray, Lord, that you would help us all to every day have a mindset of repentance and change of heart. Forgive us, Lord, of our sins. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, we want to look at this concept of repentance, and we want to begin with a passage uh, that was written uh, by the gospel writer Luke, who was the companion uh, of the Apostle Paul. And Luke's gospel,